Now here on Yellow Texas, we always love visiting the small cities that give Texas so much of its great character. So when we were invited to check out the charming city of Seguin, you know we were down for the trip. It's a place that's been getting a lot of buzz recently, so we sent Yellow Texas team member Ariel to see what the fuss was all about. Welcome to Seguin. Just outside of San Antonio, this small city of 30,000 Texans serves as the seat of Guadalupe County. It's home to tons of history, a great little downtown, and charm to spare. So Seguin is actually named after this handsome man, Juan Seguin, who was one of the leaders during the Texas Revolution. But the most famous statue in Seguin is just a short walk away and celebrates another important part of the city's history. So pecans were kind of a cash crop for the area, so in honor and tribute to that, in the 1950s they built the world's largest pecan here. And it's about six feet long, made out of concrete. So we are very proud of our pecans. We have an annual festival devoted to the pecans. Wow, okay, so when someone comes to Seguin, like myself, for the first time, what are some of the must-dos? Okay, so must-dos are definitely to check out our downtown historic district. It's really going through a rebirth. They've got lots of new shops opening up after checking out downtown. We've got Seguin Brewing. We also have Blue Lotus Winery. World's largest uh, collection of nutcrackers out at the Cape's Pecan House. We've got a lot of things to do with ANC. Taking Kyle's advice, I did a little window shopping, ducking into the Gibson Gourmet shop for a little early Christmas spending. I think I like it already because it matches my outfit. Welcome back to Yolo, Texas, where we are continuing our trip in the charming city of Seguin. With pecans being such a huge part of the history and character of Seguin, I hear this is the place to learn a little bit more. Papes Pecan House and Nutcracker Museum. So let's go nuts! Inside you'll find the largest collection of nutcrackers in the world from places as far away as Germany, India and beyond. I don't know. I don't know if I can do it as well as you did. Okay. okay. Our next stop, the Power Plant Grill, an awesome restaurant that's housed in the same historic mill building that provided the city with its first electricity and water utilities. So this is our chicken fried chicken, which is a really a fan favorite. We hand batter the chicken breast, we covered it in our homemade queso with a little bit of pico, homemade mashed potatoes, homemade green beans, and toast. Oh, it sounds delicious, and I'm all about food that matches my outfit. Exactly, yeah. it looks <laughs> color coordinated and everything. Perfect, thank yeah, you. Yeah, of course, enjoy. Y'all, I'm so ready to dig in. Power Plant Grill also features live music, private events, and a menu and view that's just about perfect. All right, that was absolutely great. And if you ever find yourself in Seguin and a little hungry, make sure to stop by the Power Plant Grill. I'm feeling a little thirsty, so what do you say? Let's go find ourselves a few cold beers. Next up, as ordered by Kyle, we headed to the Seguin Brewing Company. Well, I'll tell you, I think what people enjoy most about it is it's a very relaxed and family-friendly environment where you can come and you can have beer, uh, you can hang out, you can actually have a conversation. And um, I think that the beers are pretty good. I don't know if everybody on earth agrees, but that's okay, I like them. Yeah. And uh, we have a nice wide variety too, everything from light beer to hoppy beer to dark beer. We encourage people to drink the beer in the order that we set them out. So what I started you with is our Lake Breeze Blonde, uh, which is a nice light beer with a, a light body and it has a little bit of pop finish on it. It's uh, one of my favorites, very refreshing. And it goes down really smooth. But we had one more can't miss destination before our trip to Seguin was complete. Welcome to ZDT's park. I'm seeing a roller coaster, a parachute drop. Let's go see what it's all about. Our attractions here were designed for families. So the parachute drop is a family sized uh, drop and bounce tower. And this. Okay. 
Switchback is our newest and biggest attraction. It opened up at the end of 2015. Uh, it is a wooden shuttle coaster, so it's the only wooden roller coaster in the world to go both forward and backward. All right, that just about does it for us today. Thank you to the city of Seguin for inviting us out to take a look around. If you ever want a small town break from the big city, definitely visit Seguin. I'm going to get one more ride in on the switchback. I'll see you all later. Take the family for a trip to the booming city of Seguin. For more information, visit SeguinTexas.gov. Unfortunately, that is all the time we have for today. Until next time, remember, it's a big world, so get out and explore it. You know what they say, you only live once, Texas. Bye.